saya Yunita Manobi. Saya bekerja di sini sebagai pendamping lapangan di Yayasan Anak Sehat Persada yang bekerja sama dengan PT Pertamina. Pertamina EP bekerja sama dengan Yayasan Anak Sehat Persada dan Dinas Kesehatan Kabupaten Sorong untuk menyelenggarakan satu program yaitu revitalisasi posyandu. Working across performance, painting, sculpture, and installation. In the exhibition in Indonesia before 1998, before 1998 is not allowed to exhibit because political. So this is my experience when I was student. I tried to to make a message that our mind already fermented by the ideology. Into territory that that can be quite obscene and vulgar, and I think that it, it's quite endearing sometimes how you can be staring at a work. Pachi Putra, thank you very much for agreeing to do this interview with us for the Institute of Societal Leadership at Singapore Management University. So can we just start off uh, having you Tell us briefly about your background, your childhood. You had a very difficult uh, childhood. You lost your father when you were 12 years old. And how did that inspire you or affect you to become who you are today? Okay, first of my heartly condolence for the passing away of Lee Kuan Yew. Yu. Yes, thank you. I really admire him. Mm, thank you. I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot from Singapore because of him. My name is Salim. Thank you for talking with us this morning. You have served the country in several important capacities. I would like very much to hear about your days in the 1940s yeah. when you were inspired to fight for the country's independence. Well, first, why to fight? Why to join the freedom's movement? I was in a Dutch school and, and together with Dutch but uh, that was a privilege for me to be in a Dutch school. Okay, Gunawan, can you please tell us as a leading light of Indonesian journalism, literary and uh, culture and the arts scene, and you are a leading figure, just Run us through how it all started. Well, I'm not sure about the light. Uh, but yes, I have some years of working as journalist and writer. And it started when I was, uh, actually when I was in high school, I got my poem, actually a translation of my a poem, published in Jakarta newspaper. And about the first 1958, were you not born, right? Pak Mokhtar Riyadi, thank you very much for speaking with the Institute for Societal Leadership at the Singapore Management University. I'd like to bring you back to your early years. You grew up in a, in a very tumultuous, a difficult time in history. You lived through the Dutch um, rule of Indonesia, uh, the Japanese occupation, even the Chinese Civil War. During these times, were there any key events that you think maybe shaped your life or made you the man that you are today? Yeah, I think so. when I was a child soul and I have experienced so many different war and you know the war always is a damage, always is a death and definitely also making country in the very poor. Mm -hmm. 